G'day, Sambo here. For the courier delivery today. It's like Christmas come early. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Aha, look at that. Giant power, 4000 watt integrated power system. I'm going to get this box open and I'll pull it out and we'll have a look. Let's have a look at the specs here. 4000 watts on the inverter. 48 volt DC input, which is fine because I'm going to have, I'll start off with one bank of four batteries. AC output. Now let's go back to that DC input. 48 volts DC, 93 amps. That'll come in handy so I know what uh, fuses to use, what cable to use. AC output 230 volts AC, that's standard here in Australia, 50 hertz, 22 amps, more than sufficient. AC charger mode. The AC charger mode, input 230 volts, DC output 54 volts DC, maximum 60 amps. Solar charger mode, rated current 60 amps, 48 volt DC system voltage, maximum solar voltage 145 volts DC, and minimum solar voltage 40 volts DC, which is fine because I want to have my system I'm going to have my panel set up in a 48 volt series. Let's turn it over, see what we've got. So we've got our LCD control panel there. You're just going to have to wait until I get this hooked up and that's going to be a while. I'll show you through all of that. Let's open it up, have a look under the hood. So you can see here we've got our AC input. Now I see output over here. All that's got to be hooked up by a licensed electrician, which it will be. I've got a mate who should be able to get some mates rates. A couple of cooling fans. Input from the solar panels. Input and output to the batteries. Anyway, I'm really pleased this has turned up. It's going to be a few months until I can get it set up. Probably closer towards Christmas. I've still got to spend about $1,500 on some batteries and probably about the same again on panels. Probably another $500 getting it all hooked up. So it's not easy to start some better money. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.